guys, what's going on? James here, and welcome back to Platinum Fishing. Uh, I got a request actually, uh, my wife told me about it. Uh, she said that people were asking for me to do um, a, a video on spoons. Uh, something a little different, um, but yeah, uh, I have some some spoons here in front of me. I have some some different size spoons here. I have a, a, a wooden, what's that? Like fishing spoons? Yeah. Uh, what the? F Sorry, guys. This is this is embarrassing. Um. Yeah. Forget that you saw this. I. I knew they meant fishing spoons. Yeah, I knew that's what they meant. I thought you meant like spoon spoons. Like. Why would you not say fishing spoons? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, God. All right, guys, we got the real fish and spoons here now. So spoons have been around forever. Probably one of the oldest fishing lures out there. They work and they've always worked and they will always work. Depending on what you're fishing for, people would argue a lot better lures out there now, but I still use spoons. I mostly use them for pike and uh, muskie, you know, bass, bass will hit them. You know, before all these plastic baits and rapalas and just all these other baits, there were spoons and this is what people used for bass is, is spoons. So I'm going to go over them with you, tell you about, uh, you know, some of the brands that I use, some of the colors, some of the styles. So let's get started. So let's start out with colors. I want to tell you right now, there's two different colors or patterns that you must have in your tackle box for spoons. You must have, okay? This is non-negotiable, okay? So you must have... A five of diamonds that's the five of diamonds there so it's yellow with five diamonds on it okay the other one is the red and white spoon or some people call it the daredevil um, I don't know if the proper name is daredevil for the red and white but we're just gonna call it the red and white so basically it's red and white and it's kind of got a white kind of swoosh whatever you want to call it uh, down the middle okay now, those two patterns or colors come in all different sorts of sizes and types of spoons, okay? Those are just my two favorite that always work, and they're a lot of people's favorites. But there's some other colors that are a must-have. Um, the next one I would say is just a silver spoon, okay? Depending on the watercolor, you might want to use just a silver, plain silver spoon. Uh, the other one is a gold color. I find the gold color works really well in like tea colored water. But, you know, mess around with them. And then, you know, you get into your ones that look like a perch pattern. So those are also good ones to have in your taco box as well. And then there's different variations, you know, you have your silver with with a blue reflective stripe. Here's a bigger one here. Silver with a blue uh, reflective piece on it. Okay, let's talk about some of the, the types of spoons and brands. One brand and one type of spoon that's really worked well for me is the brand Williams and specifically the Williams Wobbler. So the Williams Wobbler uh, this is where I'll use this one as an example. It's just it's just shaped like that. It's it's uniform all the way around. And it has a really distinctive action to it. And that's the thing. There's different types of actions with the spoons. Um, and that's one that's just really worked well for me. But your your basic spoon that's shaped like this, everyone's seen that shape, you know, it swims different than, than the Williams Wobbler style. And there's times that the Wobblers don't work, and I have to throw these. 
So that that's just your regular style spoon. I don't think there's a name for it. If there is, leave it in the comments below, but um, that's just your regular spoon. Um, you know, you got some really interesting ones. Like this one here is called, called a Red Eye by Gibbs. And you can see it's got two like red eyes. They're little red stones kind of thing in it. And it's a wider spoon. And it, you know, again, has a really distinctive action to it. And this one works really well for pike. Um, yeah, your ba bass will hit it as well. When I go fishing up in uh, a place called Algonquin Park in Ontario, Canada, I go there a lot. Um, there's a special spoon that, that works really well up there and, and some people know about it. Maybe I shouldn't be giving this secret out, but um, there's a spoon called the EGB spoon. And it is a very, very interesting spoon because at the top where it ties onto where your leader is, there's a, there's a triangle piece. I think they have it patented. I've, I've never seen any other spoon with it. And it gives it a very distinctive um, action, like no other spoon. And uh, up there, I use it for trout, but pike will hit it as well. There's the odd pike up there. And uh, it they work really well. And they're a very distinctive looking spoon. Like, I mean, I can tell just by looking at them if it's an EGB spoon. But uh, they come in really, really small ones. Like this is actually probably the smallest spoon I have. It almost looks like a spinner, but it is a spoon. Uh, another one that's really good is the Clio, the little Clio by Acme. Um, they're, they're a little bit smaller spoon, but it's really good for your trout fishing and some bass will hit it as well. Another spoon that I like is the silver minnow spoon um, by Johnson. And what's really cool is it comes with a weed guard, a metal weed guard on it, so you can throw it through weeds. It can still get caught up, but it's really nice. The hook is welded right into the spoon. So as far as I know, it's the only spoon like that. It's got really nice action, and I think this is a must-have as well. You know, when you're out fishing with spoons, you want to have a variety. Not only with colors, but with the different types. I would more worry about the different types of spoons rather than colors, right? Um, you know, the type, that's your first priority. Color is secondary with spoons, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, color is important, but uh, not as important as having a variety. Yeah, so I think this, though, you know, there's some other kind of weird ones like this. I don't even know what this is. I, I think this was my grandfather's... Um, Got it out of his tackle box. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for spoons. Spoons are really easy to fish with. You basically just cast them out and you let them sink to the depth that you want and then you start reeling it in steadily. You can reel it fast, you can reel it slow. I kind of reel my spoons from slow to medium. And if they're not hitting, I, I might speed it up. But uh, they're the easiest things to fish with. They cast super far because some of them are really, really heavy. And uh, yeah, try them out. Really good for pike, musky, um, trout, uh, bass. Uh, walleye will, will hit them sometimes. So that's spoons in a nutshell and fishing spoons in a nutshell. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like always, hammer that like button and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time. Take care.